and I'm just barely tapping it. I'm not moving that fly more than two or three inches at a time, just like that. There you go. Oh. It's a guy, we'll take it. It's a fish. It's a very effective technique. There. There you go. He's well, got yeah, that minnow that's... right in his top lip. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's a jig fly eye tie. It doesn't have a lead head on it, but uh, there's lead wraps built into the mm -hmm. jig. That's barbless. Yeah. And... Show the audience how you've got this rig, because this is this is different than any other way that most people well, fish I've for smallmouth. I've often found that when the fish are in a lethargic mood, especially cold front conditions or windy conditions, you've got to slow down mm -hmm. and downsize. And, and with the wind blowing, I can't always tell, but I put that indicator out there about three and a half feet above my fly with a jig fly that's lightly weighted, so it just kind of fluffs. Mm -hmm. What that happened with that fish, he didn't hit it hard. I just saw the indicator just barely go under. Yeah, that's what you're waiting up. for. The, you're looking at the indicator. You're not feeling it. Yeah, you're not feeling no. it. This is a super slow presentation. Very that you slow. Need when 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 the, the wind picks up and the fish get lethargic. That's right. Mm -hmm.